Okay. <clears throat> Drinking water stream. Before our our pet dies, nine hundred fifty-four steps. All right, we're gonna do something that everyone's gonna hate. We're gonna walk. We're, we're not gonna run. We're, we're gonna walk to our destination because that will give us more steps. I don't know if I can do this, actually. Sorry, hiccup. Okay, this is really far. We're gonna run. It's gonna be... We're gonna get steps, but it's just not gonna be quite as many as if we walked the whole way. Voices. All right. Oh, there's a ship back there that's sinking. Uh, Nagito, Ibuki invited you too, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm honored. But since everyone else is also going to be there celebrating Fuyuhiko's recovery... Someone like me? No matter what, I think it's too rude for someone like me to go inside before everyone else arrives. <laughs> ah, you don't have to worry about me. You can go inside first. Believe me, I'm not worried. This, too, must be the will of causality. Tonight's constellation heralds the banquet that celebrates Fuyuhiko's resurrection. <laughs> How idealistic! It's nearly showtime! Now then, let us begin the ceremony of darkness. This guy, um, who cares anymore? <clears throat> uh, once again, I'm streaming shortly after I finish eating, which means I'm going to be um, have being phlegmy for a little while after, so get fuck stream. Uh, several people had already arrived at the music venue, but F Fuyuhiko, why are you... Huh? What, is it bad I came? No, uh, not that. It, is it okay for you to move around? It's gonna be fine. Yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> There's no way you're okay. You're seriously injured. Even so... They took the time to throw a party for me. There's no way I won't come. But... Uh, I understand how you feel, but... You really shouldn't overwork yourself. So... I'm, I'm not overdoing it. Jeez! Fine, then. Just let him do whatever he wants. But... Huh? It's fine. Just let him be. Apparently, Yakuza have pain tolerance down to an art. I can't believe he's actually forcing himself to join this kind of event. The old Fuyuhiko probably wouldn't have come no matter how much we invited him. He's probably trying his very best to change. Hey. But it looks like Hyoko definitely didn't come. How pitiful. That seems to be the case. <coughs> Sorry. Huh? And 
Akane is not here too. Hmm. What? What is that wild woman off doing? I hope she's not planning anything strange. As if on cue, right when Nakomaru expressed his unease, that's when it happened. My! Suddenly, the stage lit up very brightly, and the person who appeared was... Hey, y'all! It's Ibuki Miyota! Thanks for coming out today! Hey, y'all! She says y'all! My specialty is making beef stew! <laughs> I may not look like it, but people tell me that I'm a nurturing type. So I'm gonna do my very best performance so I can make everyone feel better! I hope you're all pumped up! Just as I thought, that's what she was going for. Well, she is the ultimate musician after all. I can't imagine what else she'd do at a music venue. Alright! I'll start singing this first song with full-on energy! So, put your hands together for... From Me to You Too! Since she was originally a member of a high school girls band that dominated the music charts, I can probably look forward to hearing her music forward to her musical stylings. First of all, I like that the skip button immediately pops up, almost like an insult. Second of all, that was not as bad as I remember it being. Um, I, I, I remember it just being screaming without much like melody in the background, but actually there was quite a bit of melody and also some, some like actual lyrics. <clears throat> Such an overwhelmingly baleful resonance! Even my four dark devas of destruction look less lively than usual! Something like this! I... I too am starting to feel chills. Oh, it's a title like from me to you! I thought it was gonna be a sweet love song! If I recall, the reason why Ibuki left the high school's girls band was... Um... Creative differences. That must be why. <laughs> Yahoo! It's awesome! That's the first time I've heard such a famous song! Hi Hiyoko? I'm glad. Huh, you came? Huh! So, so what if I did? I was invited too, you know. But... But... If you're attending Fuyuhiko's recovery party, that means... You've already... That's not it! <laughs> Are you stupid? Don't misunderstand. There's no way I'd forgive him that easily. Hey! Cause he's a Yakuza, you know? He's the type of person who preys on people by tricking them. Even now, he's probably just pretending to be sorry, so he can try to trick us. Please wait. There is no way that is possible. I know. I know. I get why she'd think that of me. Huh. Yeah, that's right. That's why we're never gonna believe in you. Get it? This doesn't mean we've made up or anything. I'm only cooperating with you until we get off this island. Huh? So... Just remember, if anything happens, you're the first one who's gonna get cut off. 
sorry. I'm glad. I'm really, really glad. You nasty pig barf. Ew, don't cry. Pigs have no right to cry. You're grossing me out. I see. Fuyuhiko's not the only one who's trying to change. She's also trying, huh? The old Hyoko. There's no way she would have ever forgiven Fuyuhiko like this. Gross. Hey, what are you looking at? N nothing Somehow, even though it's little by little, I feel like things are starting to turn around. But that's all the more reason to worry about him. Monokuma. There's no way he's not going to do anything while he's watching us like this, right? Boring! Hey, how much longer are you guys going to be bummed out? I came all the way here because you said it was a party! Yay! Come on, Ibuki! Hurry up and start the next song! Roger! Thanks for writing! Let's go right ahead to the next song! Huh? There's still more? Now that this recovery party is in full swing, I've got a ballad prepared that totally fits the mood. Grab a partner and slow dance to... I squeezed out the baby, but I have no idea who the father is! Stop it! No more! <laughs> hey! What's everyone doing here? Hello? Oh, Monami? Jeez! Hey, don't interfere! Uh, and I was enjoying such a fun party too! What? Uh, I wasn't invited to the party, hello? <laughs> Obviously not! You'd ruin the party if you were here! What? <gasps> <gasps> but seriously, now's not the time, hello? Now's not the time to enjoy a fun party, hello! But why? <laughs> uh, Akane! Uh, Akane is... Emergency! Akane is dueling Monokuma, hello! What? What did you say? <laughs> at, at this point, Akane is gonna be in danger! Please, do something to save her, hello! Could it be? It looks like my bad feeling was correct. <laughs> That stupid fool! Mm. No, I'm the one who was the fool. It was my mistake to not keep my eyes on her. <clears throat> As team manager, I should have had a proper grasp of my athlete's private life. Um, I, I don't know if I like the sound of that. Damn it! This failure will haunt me for the rest of my life, or my name isn't Nekomaru Nidai! Um, now's not the time for regret. Let us make haste. <clears throat> of course! Damn it! Fuyuhiko finally returned to us. The thought of anyone else in our group getting taken. I won't allow it! I will never allow it! Uh, hey, Monami, where's Akane and Monokuma? Um... Uh, they're at the beach where we first arrived at the island, hello! <laughs> Please hurry! If you don't, Akane is gonna get killed, hello! <laughs> You don't have to tell me! I'm going full speed ahead! See? We should hurry too. Nekomaru bolted from the music venue as fast as his legs could take him, and we followed him soon after. I, I should hurry too. Hey, everyone! Thanks, uh, thanks everyone! <laughs> Uh, no, that's not it. I know Akana is in deep trouble, but you guys suck, Uri! Screw this half-baked comfort. If this were a song title, it'd be salt sleep, salt seeping into my broken heart. Uri! I, I don't really get it, but you look pretty bummed out. <sighs> Come on, you shouldn't make a fuss here. Let's hurry over to the beach already. Uri! She's right. I should hurry too. Is... Is that... Is... Is Ibuki really upset that we're leaving to stop our friend from getting killed? <laughs> I mean, I guess she could be upset by the way that we react to her song, which was was generally not positive. But I don't think that's what it is either, because she seemed really excited to start the second song, even after we had complained about it. So it seems like she's really just upset that everyone is leaving to stop Akane from getting killed. Um, it's just as Nekomaru said, I can't stand any more situations where someone is taken any longer. There's no time to spare. I need to hurry over to the beach at the first island.
600 more steps. Hey, Chucky, what are you doing? We gotta get to the beach. Hold it. Calm down. Huh? Well? It's true we need to hurry, but there's no way you can make good decisions if you're so worked up. But if we don't hurry, Akane is... Hey. It's for the sake of Akane, too. We don't know what's beyond this point. That's why we need to stay calm, I think. Yeah, got it. I'm okay now. Yep. Then let's go. <laughs> After running there at a full sprint by the time I got to the beach and struggled to regain my breath, I saw a shocking scene unfold before me. Akane! Looks like you're just barely avoiding any fatal injuries! Yep! At least your agility is worthy of praise! But did you only challenge me just so you could show me your sweet dance moves? D damn it! Well, why can't I even graze you with my attacks? Well, you know, we're on completely different levels. That means we view the world differently. It's like a character from a punk manga challenging an enemy from a super-powered battle manga. <laughs> it's obvious you can't win. Hey, hey. Is she really serious about not even grazing it? Akane is just fighting a stuffed animal. <laughs> Marakuma is an advanced machine. If it's designed for combat, it's probably capable of exerting such power. However, as far as speed is concerned, Akane is far faster than any athlete I've ever seen. And she says she can't even grace him with her attacks? Is that even possible? <laughs> However, because it's possible, that's why she's in this situation, right? How unfortunate. As long as she's ended up like that, there's not much we can really do about it. At the very least, we should overcome the despair of Akane's death and use it as a fuel to bolster our hope. Right? Like Fuyuhiko did, you see? Don't fuck with me! Damn it! I... I never want to feel that feeling ever again. If I have to feel that way again, I'll make sure I stop it, even if it costs me my life. No, you can't! You'll really die if you keep overexerting yourself! Yeah. It's just a little life Peckle gave me. It's not precious anyway. <laughs> you stupid idiot! That's all the more reason you need to take care of it! Huh? Don't stop me! You guys stay back, I'll take it from here! This is Nekomaru Nidai's final firework! Make sure you sear it into your eyes! Now then, it looks like everyone's here, so I might as well finish this! Didn't I say I won't allow any rule violations against me? This is what happens when you break the rules! Disappear! The world shook and turned stark white as if the surrounding scenery and every sound was blown away by the impact. It was all completely white. And within that white, I heard a voice. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, Nekomaru! N Nekomaru! Why did you... S save <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Supporting their athletes is a manager's duty. However... What a shame for someone like Nekomaru Nidai to... It was just a little shot from a bazooka. I really am the worst. <laughs> uh, get a hold of yourself, Nekomaru! Akane, the time I've spent with you, it... It wasn't so bad. Don't... Die. Akane! Nekomaru! Are... you kidding me? Ah! Nekomaru died! Th that's... 
God, what was his voice? <clears throat> okay, I have to recenter. Um... Now then, that's now then. What? Wow! Wow! What? Holy crap! No, that's not it. That's a little too um tight throated. What? 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 Holy crap! God damn it! I can't do it. <sighs> Maybe it's just that line. Instead of the rule violator, Akane. What the hell? What a major failure! There we go. Okay, it's it's not um it's not throat. It's tense your 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 core. Oh, what a major failure! I ended up killing Nekomaru, who had nothing to do with this. Hey, H hold on. I it's faint, but his heart is still beating. I he's not dead yet. <laughs> and you gotta hurry and treat him at whoa. You... Hey, Monokuma, you can do something about this, right? Save Nekomaru like you saved me. Hey, hey. Th that's why, hello. If you kill someone you didn't who didn't violate the rules, that makes you the one who violated the rules, hello. Well, then let's just say we're even. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> In exchange for forgiving Akane for breaking the rules, let's just say Nekomaru was the sacrifice. Yeah! So, isn't it okay to say we're even? Hey! <laughs> You're not gonna save him, hello? Unbelievable. Oh, jeez. Guess I have no choice. It's annoying, but it'd be boring if he died a meaningless death. So? So, for today only, I'll activate my special trump card. And that's when it happened. A siren started ringing out of nowhere. And it gradually came closer and closer. Just leave the rest to me, Dr. Killgood! He even recycled the same line again. We gotta get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24-hour observation stat! So, I'll see you later! And after he said that, the ambulance containing Monokuma and Nekomaru vanished from our sight. What the hell? Why did this happen? What's going on? Hey, he's gonna be all right, right? Uh, Nekomaru's gonna be saved, right? Uh, of course, he's obviously gonna be saved. Uh, but Fuyuhiko finally returned to us. I cannot believe Nekomaru is gone now. No! No more! I can't stand this anymore! Hey! Hey, can you stop yelling? Screaming won't help, you know. <laughs> Cuz, cuz, cuz! I'll go! This isn't cuz! This is what happens when we let our guard down! All this talk about everyone getting along, we were just fooling ourselves. <laughs> we were just pretending that we understood the situation we're in. Teamwork, friendship, cooperation, nothing matters. The stupid ones will just be killed one after another. It won't be a mystery when you're eventually betrayed. That's why I'm never going to rely on anyone. Except, th in this case, no one betrayed anyone. I mean, I guess you could maybe argue that Akane betrayed the group's confidence by doing something dangerous. But it's not like any... like th This was still, theoretically, everyone on the same side. That's the reality here. Uh, uh, are you saying it is meaningless for us to even work together? Shut up! If it really did have meaning, Nekomaru wouldn't have ended up like that. <laughs> he ended up like that because of his weird feelings of friendship. You. Hey, you understand too, right? When the stupid ones try to act on their own, it makes trouble for everyone else. Hey! So can you please not involve me? I don't want to die a meaningless death. That is... Hi Hiyoko, blaming Akane will not help solve anything. Huh. <laughs> We don't have to worry about Coach Nekomaru. Huh? Huh. Man, that's disappointing. It's all your fault and you're not even worried about him. Oh, uh, uh, you're not worried about Nekomaru? D damn it! D there's no need to worry about worrying. I know Co Nekomaru is a monstrous guy. There's no way he's going to die from something like that. that happens, I'll make sure 
I apologized to him. Because I was too weak and I caused him trouble. So when he comes back, I'll make sure to say I'm... As we all return to our cottage, we were even with our masks, our tragic happened. Once again, we were all taught. If you think, well, that's just wishful thinking. On this island, with any people die, that is the nightmare we're trapped in. When you think you finally woke up from the nightmare, you're still inside it, and thus the nightmare continues. Super! Malakuma Super Fables! Story the Tengu came down! Apparently did as they please, such as stealing food and kidnapping women. But is it really the Tengu's fault? Isn't it actually the humans' fault for ruining nature by destroying the mountains where the Tengus live? You think monsters are scary? It's humans that are the scary ones! Everyone, now is the time to rise up against the humans! We must protect nature from the humans and return the world to a peaceful place where monsters roam free! Bring it on! The Monokuma Super Fables! The end! <coughs> Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day! Now then! Let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! Oops. But I greeted this morning. It's my controller. Like, sometimes is it um battery maybe? Yo! Oh, it's you, Hajime. Huh. <laughs> Even if... Oh, that's not... Even in such an abnormal situation, people still get... Damn it. Baru, what that bastard mean by his final firework? The line's more suited to a Yakuza, anyway. Nekomaru must have wanted to protect Akane at all costs, just like... Oh! Nekomaru must have wanted to protect Akane at all costs, just like how Pekka wanted to protect you. Why you? Shut up. Don't say another word. Sorry. Just go on ahead to the restaurant. I'll come later. Fuyuhiko. Don't tell me when you're gonna come. That's disgusting. Good morning, Hajime. Yeah, morning. See? Being depressed won't help. Let's believe in Nekomaru. Come on, feel better. Great, thanks. That's so helpful, Chiaki. I feel so much better instantly. Don't worry about our dying friend. Just feel better. Huh? As I was walking to the restaurant, I suddenly stopped. <laughs> I heard the sound of a girl crying inside the restaurant. 
Is is someone crying inside? Mikan? Or is it Hyoko? I peeked inside and quietly walked into the restaurant. Restaurant. Huh? Oh my god, are you gonna do the same sobbing sound every single line? Akane, you're the one who's crying? Okay, this is a different one. Uh, I, I'm scared. What's gonna happen to us? I'm scared. What, what happened? Could she be in shock about what happened to Nekomaru? But yesterday she was acting braver. Hey, it's definitely best if we keep Nagito tied up. No, not just tied up. No. I won't be satisfied until I peel the skin off his face and expose the meat so we can't identify him anymore. That that doesn't sound very gentle. Did he do something to you? Huh. That idiot. He lied to me about Mahiru being alive and said he saw her at the movie theater. But why is he telling such a pointless lie? Uh. I don't know, but I, I hate being lied to. Jeez! I won't feel satisfied until all those joints are bent at awkward angles. It'd probably be a waste of time to find out the reason for each little thing Nagito does, but... I don't get this at all. Why does he have to tell such an outrageous lie? Hey, what happened to Akane? Isn't she acting so weird? I see! Hajime, be careful. That's probably not the real Fuyuhiko. Huh? I know. The real Fuyuhiko is already dead. That's why that's probably Fuyuhiko cloned. What are you saying? Hey. So, I think Makuma and Nekomaru are be saved. But apparently they're only going to come soon. <laughs> it's the truth. Not really Right? Listen carefully. <laughs> World Ender? The traitor who is hiding among us is... There's no mistake. Byakuya. That's right. Byakuya is alive. He's been weird from the start, but... Isn't he acting much weirder than usual? What happened, Akane? It's not like you to cry. Get a grip on yourself. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, Nekomaru got killed, you know? What, what are you saying? It's not like Nekomaru is dead yet. <laughs> Was that a good... <laughs> Does that sound like the, the, the voice line? Uh, I'm scared. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Let me go back home. She must be so shocked that Nekomaru sacrificed himself for her. No, there's no way that explains a change this sudden and drastic. Yes! Um, I don't know who this is. Pardon me, everyone, but do you happen to have some time to spare? Hello, my name is Ibuki Miyoda. It may be rude of me, but I would like to say my greetings first thing in the morning. Good morning. I look forward to working with you all today. Ibuki Miyoda. Shoot, actions too. Wait. Be careful, Ibuki. It's dangerous. Let's kill and eat you. What are you saying? Yes. Mr. Hime, I am not tasty. Please do not eat me. He's obviously lying. I see. So it was a lie. It's the truth. Lie. I never. Understood. I see. So, it is not a lie. It may be necessary for me to beg for my life, after all. What the heck is this? Akane, Nagito, Ibuki, they're all acting strange. What's going on? Um... Did they go crazy or something? It wouldn't be strange to go crazy in a situation like this. You got it wrong! Uh, that's not it! Yes! I Ibuki, she has an extremely 
I believe that's probably the cause. That's weird. Before you start talking, I want you to tell me something. Who the hell? Oh my! Have you forgotten me? I'm Mikon Sumiki. <laughs> anyway, please try touching her forehead. If you do, you'll see what I mean. My hand to her forehead? Uh, Ibuki, just a second. Understood. In exchange, please spare my life. Spare me my life. Uh, take anything you want. Spare me my life. I was attacked by three men. I softly placed my hand onto Ibuki. <laughs> Not gibberish. Oh, she, she mustn't be Elisa then. What is this? This is normal. Yes! Uh, uh, a terribly high fear. Then, could the others? Akane, let me feel your forehead too. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm so weak. I placed my hand onto Akane's forehead while she groaned and kept sobbing. That must be it! She has such a high fever! There's no way that's a normal human body temperature. Nagito, you too! <laughs> I don't have a fever. I feel extremely great today! I placed my hands on his forehead. Once again, I got the same result. What? Huh? All three of them have fevers? And the reason those guys are acting saying such wacky stuff is... Emergency! Emergency! My goodness! That's obviously bad! Matakuma, for him to appear right now, does that mean this is... Just a minute. Whoa there! Can you just wait a... Can you wait just a second for the explanation? The others are on their way too! And just as Monokuma said, I heard the sound of pounding footsteps. Everyone who gathered all had confused expressions plastered onto their faces. What's going on? No, no one! Hey, hey! I heard it from Monokuma. Looks like something... Could it be? Um, did something happen? Now then! It looks like everyone's here! And let's start with the explanation! Wait! <laughs> Hold on, hello! Uh, Monokuma, you're pulling a prank again, aren't you? Hello? The Nekomaru! Hurry up and we'll turn and fuck you, Wobble Bear! Hello? Hmm? Nekomaru? Are you talking about the boy who turns into a woman when he gets splashed by water? You stupid brother! Who the heck is that? Nekomaru doesn't have a weird ability like that, hello? Jeez! Shut up! Ah! I don't even know what's been done to me, but I feel a mysterious life energy! What is this? What is this? Is this a reference to something? This, this has got to be a reference to something. Well now! Now that I've shut up this nuisance, Let's go back to the topic at hand! No. Well done! I'm pretty sure you guys have already noticed since you're all so quick-witted. So, it's just as I thought, the true identity of the Thai That's Fever right. is... That's right! This is the new motive that I've given you! It's the Despair Disease! What the...? Despair Disease? Actually... You know, there are extremely tiny insects that can't be seen with the living on this island. It's true. Recently, I just never them. Hmm. Anyway, the disease spread by these insects is called the despair disease. <laughs> De despair disease? I've never heard of such a thing. Well. Then, let me tell you about it! As the name suggests, the despair disease is... A really annoying disease! Where you get a high fever, along with various symptoms that are full of despair. And those symptoms are different, based on the person. For instance, 
Nagito is afflicted, afflicted by the liar disease. Akane has the coward disease. Ibuki has the gullible disease, I guess. What? I just had to get the symptoms that are the opposite of their normal personalities, except for Nagito. Hey, um... It, it's not like all you guys are down with the sickness yet. But be careful! Sometimes the despair disease can get passed from person to person, just like a cold! Huh? You mean it is contagious? <laughs> don't put your guard down just because you don't have the disease! It'll be awful if everyone got sick! Hey, 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 hey! Let's run, Miss Sonya! It'll be terrible if you got the caught if you caught the lowly disease of the common folks! Uh, that's right! Uh, let's run away! I don't want to catch such a weird disease! Why? And why is that a motive? Are you saying that a killing will occur soon? After everyone falls into a crazy state? <sighs> Isn't that quite a novel idea? I can't wait! I can't wait! A killing that occurs while everyone has a completely different personality! Think of all the murder tricks! Is, is there any way to treat it? Like... Why? Is there a need to treat it? I mean, this despair disease isn't supposed to make you suffer. <laughs> it's a disease that cures your soft hearts. Your soft hearts towards killing. And with this, you can finally take the plunge and commit murder. You... You bastard. You better stop talking about this bullshit. <laughs> it's all my fault. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm always bothering you. All right. I've decided. As an apology, I'm going to commit murder. Are there any charcoal briquettes somewhere? Um, I'm pretty sure I found some at the supermarket. S stop it. Akane, Nagito, Ibuki, you guys stay put. Hey, you're wrong. I'm not Nagito. To tell you the truth, Nagito Komaeda is a fake name. I'm sorry I've kept it a secret till now. Understood. Um, oh, I see. What the? Uh, uh, she's been leaving him again? So serious. Amazing. Man, whatever. I feel so great today. This despair disease is awesome. <laughs> despair, 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 despair. It's amazing. You all should get it too. We're all done for. There's no such thing as hope. We all have to, dis to die from this de despair disease. That's the only way. Whoa! He, whoa, he collapsed! <laughs> N Nagito! <laughs> now that I've given you a new motive, how will things develop? Will the killing start after everyone gets the disease? Or even before that? Chills! Chills! Kills! I'm so excited about it! I'm just gonna stand around naked! Bring it on! Just kidding! I'm always naked. Ooh. <laughs> hey! Damn it. Nakamura's incident just happened and now this? Where did that peaceful mood that lasted till yesterday go? <laughs> this is bad! Nagito is foaming at the mouth! It's okay, Ibuki does that all the time and no one cares. <gasps> She's right! I've never seen foam that color before! Impossible! It's an ephemerally rare color! Normally only found in the depths of the netherworld sea! Uh, uh, yeah. In this case, the color doesn't matter, so let's hurry him over to the hospital! Got it, I'll help out. Please wait. Um, what should we do about Akane and Ibuki? Anyway. We're definitely going to bring them too. We don't know what they'll do if we leave them alone. Hey, bastards, can you walk? Yes. Allow me to confirm. I just have to alternate the movements of my left and right leg, correct? <laughs> Hold on. I, I want to don't leave me. Then, then let's go. With the disease in tow and Nagito, whose condition was clearly worsening, we rushed over to the hospital. But this kind of motive is impossible. An actual despair disease? And there's a possibility that it might be passed along? What the heck? Damn it, what should I do? <laughs> I, I will go make the infected change their clothes! And then I'll have them sleep in the patient rooms. Understood. 
So I just have to change my clothes, correct? <laughs> uh, scared of changing. For now. Uh, anyway, everyone else, please wait here. As she supported all three of them with their shoulders, Mikon disappeared into the depths of the hospital. Damn it! I never expected us to get sick. What's going to happen? Let me tell you this. I would not mind if Nagito retired permanently. Maybe. Is Mikan gonna personally change their clothes? What's wrong with that? Well... Does that include Nagito too? Isn't that a little bad? <laughs> There's no need to panic. Even I attend to the needs of my four dark devas of destruction. Hey, hey, hey! Don't lump hamsters and teenage boys together! Um... Hey, is this stupid conversation going to last much longer? Hey! Shouldn't we be seriously thinking about what we need to do from now on and stuff? What we need to do from now on? Huh. Um... Who is least this likely to trigger... must be the will of causality. Who's, who's most like moving on to the plot? I feel like it'll be either Hyoko, because Hyoko just spoke, or Chiaki, because Chiaki is like the responsible one that keeps us in line. I'm going to talk to them last. This disease, it was... ...country. <laughs> there is no reason it would work again. work um i'm worried about those three but is there a chance that mikan will catch it while she is tending to them we should consider that too maybe by any chance is mikan gonna attend to all of nagito's needs damn it this is a dilemma i don't want to get sick but i'm jealous of that disease do you want to attend to all of Nagito's needs? Because there's going to be fan art of that. Now's not the time to say stuff like that. Looks like things are getting pretty strange. Even so. Now's not the time for us to do our best. We need to stand firm until Nekomaru comes back. Don't overwork, your, don't overwork yourself too much, though. Your wound hasn't fully healed yet. <laughs> <laughs> I can't slack off now. Oh god, it's a gamble. Hyoko or Chiaki? Who's most likely to... start the next thing? Jeez! That disease sure looks dangerous. Nagito, Akane, and Ibuki aren't acting normal. If it spreads to anyone else, a killing is bound to happen. Let me tell you this. Based on their observed behavior, I cannot deny that. But... But those guys aren't being considerate. I want them to at least have the decency to, cons to consider committing suicide before they start bothering us. That is... Uh, hey, Hyoko. <laughs> I know, it can't be that easy. So, it's important to make sure we don't end up catching the disease. Make sure? What do you mean? Which cockroach said that? Jeez, why don't you get it? We need to isolate them from us so they won't spread the disease. Uh, isolate? You... If you can't cure it, the only option is to stop it from spreading. Even a preschooler knows that. But still, isn't isolating them a little bit too harsh? Hey, if anyone, if everyone catches the despair disease, we won't be able to do anything about it anymore, you know? This is bad. Y you're right. There's no way we should allow it to spread. H hold on a second. Hey, hey. Isolation. You mean we need to quarantine them inside the hospital, right? Ch Chiaki, don't tell me you also agree with this. That's wrong. It's to prevent a killing. As long as that disease is Monokuma's motive, if we just ignore it, a killing will happen again. To prevent that, we also have to pre prevent the disease from spreading. That's why we need to quarantine them. Like... E even if we quarantine them, who's going to take care of them? <laughs> Mikan's going to stay here anyway. She's been touching the infected all over, so it's possible she's already caught the disease. But there's no way we can leave her by herself. Hey! Then why don't you stay here too? Huh? Huh? Now that I think about it, you touched them when you took their temperatures, right? Oh. <laughs> so, I'll leave the rest to you. Contact me if something happens. I mean, it could also be airborne. C contact you? How are we supposed to do that? Gee! 
disease! Oh, right, we need to think of a way to communicate. If we keep meeting in person, we could catch the disease. Hey, you! So, I'll let you handle that, Kazuichi. Ah, uh, yeah, got it. Fine. Fretnut, we are not going to abandon you. I shall station myself nearby in case anything happens, Yugi boy. Nearby? Uh, there is a motel on this island. Until this matter is resolved, we shall stay the night there. Aww. What? Do we really have to stay in such a dirty place? Silence. What are we supposed to do if we can't immediately get here if something happens? Also, if that disease is airborne, the hotel on the first island might already be unsafe. This is the Tanaka Empire! We must be vigilant about protection. I have those who I must protect. You... They're just hamsters, dude. I'll destroy you! That is an unkind thing to say, you fiend! How dare you call my four Dirk Davis of Destruction hamsters! Jeez! Uh, f fine, I'll just stay at the motel, okay? Jeez, how annoying. <laughs> e even if it's a quarantine, we're still gonna be on the same island, so just call us if something happens. Huh? What, what are you frustrated for? I don't like this. This is obviously a trap. Monokuma's goal is to separate us as a group. Is it really okay for us to follow that? So... It's not like we've stopped being friends. I just don't want a killing to happen ever again. We can't prevent that if everyone gets sick, you know. You know, right? Yeah, that's right, man. There's no way we're gonna lose together here, you know? That's right! Because if that happens, then Monokuma gets what he wants! Hey, Hiyoko, what did you say to me earlier? Something about me being the first one to get cut off. And? What, what's wrong with that? Huh. This, this must be the moment, that moment. It's not like Mikan and Hajime are enough people. You. Are you saying you're going to stay here too? Huh? You too? Hmm. This life of mine is a spare anyway. Huh. Fine then, do whatever you want. <laughs> hey, Fuyuhiko, are you sure? You might be endangering yourself, you know. Jeez. Hey, don't make me repeat myself. Hey, hey. Y you're really okay with this? Then I'm gonna leave the rest to you. <laughs> Whatever happenings over here, just leave it to us. We'll make sure to keep the disease from spreading. Come on, shouldn't you guys head over to the motel before you catch the disease? I am sorry. I, I am sorry we are forcing this upon you like this. No, what everyone's saying is true, so it's okay. Thanks. Thank you, both of you. I won't let your feelings go to waste. We'll make sure to find out the mystery of the despair disease while you're all here. I think. I think. Probably. I'd, I'd really prefer she had a more confident sounding catchphrase. Um. Now then, I shall excuse myself. I'm counting on you. <laughs> and I'll make sure to figure some way to communicate later. Bye! Bye bye! Do your best and try to stay alive! just like that, the others left, leaving me and Fuyuhiko at the hospital. I never expected it would turn out like this. Jeez! Wait, so who did we talk to that started this conversation? Was it Hiyoko? So we never got to talk to Chiaki? It's not like it's their fault, it's that bastard Monokuma's fault. I can't believe he actually had arranged something as irritating as a disease. <laughs> They finally finished changing! Everyone's resting in their rooms! Uh, 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 oh, is it... How did she turn into Toad? Hajime, I'm sorry, but I'll let you handle the explanation. That's quite the burden I have to bear. And so we decided to split into two groups. In the hospital, there are three, the three people who caught the Monokuma's despair disease. Akane, Nagito, and Ibuki. There's also Mikan who's nursing them back to health. And as a safeguard, Fui, Hiko, and myself. Altogether, six people are staying at the hospital. I wonder if this is gonna be important to know where everyone is later. Chiaki, Gundam, Kazuichi, Sonia, and Hyoko are staying at the motel. 
As for Nakomaru, he's not back yet, but... Anyway, until we do something about this despair disease, our current situation isn't going to change. But we have no clue what we need to do. Seriously, what should we do? Huh? I suddenly woke up. And if I woke up, that means I fell asleep without realizing it. Earlier, I discussed it with Fuyuhiko, and we decided to we'd take turns resting. That's right, that's why I came to the young call room on the second floor of the hospital. I haven't been sleeping well on the, the past few days, so a sudden drowsiness overtook me. And I was asleep, which is a good thing, but... My body... feels really heavy for some reason. No, it's... not just heavy. It feels somewhat soft and... Mikan finally got off me, grabbed my shoulders, and began shaking me intensely. Somehow that was enough to get my consciousness to drift back to reality. Ugh, oh, god. Hajime! Uh, you regained your consciousness! Uh, I'm so glad I thought you died! M me too, I seriously thought I was gonna die. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I thought about taking a rest to the young call room, but you were already asleep, so... That doesn't mean you can climb on top of me. <laughs> And I'll be on the bottom next time! That's seriously not what I'm talking about. Hey, hey! You. What are you guys doing? Fuyuhiko? No, this is... I really hope you don't get the wrong idea. Don't tell me! W were you guys sleeping together? Bastard! You dirty rotten bastard! You guys are fucking high school students! Seriously, you've got this all wrong. Damn it. We don't have time for that. Nagito, he's in danger! Danger? What? When I peeked inside his room earlier, it looked like he wasn't breathing. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! This is bad! Now's not the time for us to rest! Mikan vigorously leapt out of bed and ran out of the on ran out of the on call room. Damn it! Hajime, not now's not the time for you to be pitching a tent. We need to hurry. This, seriously, I I'm not. Fuyuhiko and I chased after Mikan as she ran into Nagito's room. Get a hold of yourself! Despite Mikan's desperate pleas, I didn't see Nagito react at all. Don't tell me! There's no way he died, right? The body discovery announcement isn't playing, right? Hey, fidget! Fidget! Damn it, he's totally waiting for it! Damn it! This looks very bad. Despite Mikan's desperate cries, I didn't see Nagito react at all. Damn it! This looks very bad. Whoops. Mikan, is Nagito alright? Well... Uh, it looks like his breathing has returned. Really? Uh, but still, his condition is unpredictable, and that's putting it lightly. Hey! Hey! How light is it? Is it sweet potato sauce? Well... If so, that's pretty light. Uh, 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 please don't interfere! Hey. Hey, look, isn't Nagito's mouth moving? You're right, you might be trying to say something. <laughs> Nagito, what happened? As she said his name, Mikan slowly tilted her ear toward Nagito's lips. What did he say? Um, apparently his condition has improved and he feels quite refreshed. Um, since Monokuma said that Nagito was the liar disease, he probably means the opposite and actually feels really crappy. Like... But what's gonna happen if he just dies? We're not gonna have a class trial, right? Ah! Don't talk like that! Yes! Nagito is never gonna die! I will save him by any means necessary! I see. I see. Got it. Then I leave Nagito's life to you. Yes! 
far from her usual self, Mikon responded assertively and went back to tending to Nikon, to, uh, to Nikon, to Nagito. If we stay here any longer, we might just get in the way. Damn right! Then follow me. While you were resting, the goods arrived. I gotta show them to you. The goods? Aren't something dangerous, right? Anyway. Let's go to the lobby. Hey, Fuyuhiko, what did you mean when you said goods? Damn right! Look on top of the reception desk. Top of a reception desk? On the desk? Over the desk? I don't want the surveillance camera, I want... Oh, do I want this? Fuyuhiko's talking about this, right? It looks like a modern camera unit. Hey, what is this? Huh. Perfect timing. The blue light's blinking. Does something happen when this blinks? Seeing is leaving, as they say. Try pressing the button just below that light. I just have to press the button? I did what Fuyuhiko said and pressed the button. What's up? Hey, is this Hajime? <laughs> Loud and clear. Looks like it's perfectly connected. K Kazuichi, then this is... Huh. Yeah, that's right. That's the way to communicate he was talking about. All right! Looks like it's time for the ultimate mechanic to shine. How about it? This is what I've been working on. <laughs> Remember that alley with all those shady looking street boots? I found this. It's a surveillance camera for household use, and I just tweaked it a little. <laughs> so now it's basically a video chat device. Uh, I mean, it's pretty hit or miss. Video chat, huh? I get it. It's, it's true. We don't have to worry about getting infected with this. That's right. So it may be a hassle, but we'll be contacting each other from this from now on, okay? This was only a test run this time, so I guess this should be pretty fun. Okay then, see you later. Kazuichi left this way you were arrested. Damn right! The surveillance camera unit comes with a surveillance camera and a surveillance monitor. Anything the camera records is broadcast live on the monitor. So you prepared two of these sets and swapped each of their camera. Oh god! So you prepared two of these sets and swapped each of their cameras. God, my throat. <laughs> all the why did I choose all the voices that are like gravelly and harsh? The only, like, big character voice that's a, a rest is uh, Monokuma and Gundam. Um, I see. By swapping the cameras, this monitor will display what's on my camera and vice versa. Apparently, he also modified it a little. He widened its narrow communication range beyond just household use. Even so. He still has a limit, so apparently the signal can't reach from the hospital to the motel. Then we can't communicate between the hospital and the motel. <laughs> you didn't notice? He was contacting you just now from the music venue near the motel. From there, the signal reaches the hospital with no problems. But they're staying at the motel, right? What happens if we can't reach them when we need to? Damn right! I thought the same thing, so we arranged times for us to be in contact with each other. It's set up for us to communicate 30 minutes after Monokuma's morning and evening announcements. <laughs> Our next contact with them is going to be tomorrow morning. Don't sleep in. He's well prepared, as expected of the heir of an enormous organization. Huh? <laughs> what is it? Uh, nothing. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. <coughs> Now then. It's that time already, huh? Now then, where should I sleep tonight? I, feel, I mean, I feel like they should have done, um, like, 15 minutes after that announcement. Because then the announcement might wake you up. 
and then you can do oh well, rather than like unless everyone has a working watch or clock you might not know exactly when 30 minutes before the announcement is hmm. are you planning to use the on-call room with a certain someone again no i'm planning to use the on-call room with you like I said, it's not what it looked like. You guys? Hey. Hey! Hey! Aren't you misunderstanding? What are you thinking? A hospital's a facility for sick people, so it's not for lodgings or young romantic trysts, you know? Y you two? What are you talking about? I don't like this. No, I see. Your generation has fallen out of the habits of looking at bulletin boards. I Believable. Now come on, take a look at the bulletin board. There's a notice on there, right? Notice on the bulletin board? A bulletin board. Is he talking about this? Hospital precautions. Eating and drinking is forbidden within the hospital building. Also, disregarding patients who need to be accompanied, overnight stays by non-patients are expressly forbidden. In other words... Right! It's like the notices you often see inside hospitals! You can't stay overnight here! What are you saying? There is one... There's one patient who needs to be accompanied. Hmm. Oh, you're talking about Nagito, right? Unbelievable. Then I'll allow just one person to accompany him. The rest of you need to hurry up and get out of here! Jeez. Hospital precautions, my ass. You should have said so sooner. Only one person can stay the night. And there's no way we can make Mikan leave. Jeez, you're Guess pathetic. we have no choice. We should head back to our cottages then. You're right. Even if we stay here, we probably won't be able to do anything. After explaining the circumstances to Mikan, we decided to go back to our cottages for the time being. So Fuyuhiko and I are going to be the only ones sleeping in our cottages tonight. I'm a little worried. No, the ones who are stuck in the hospital should be more worried. What's the point of me getting so worried? All right, when I wake up tomorrow, I'll go to the hospital right away. I feel bad leaving Mikan alone. I guess for now, I should try to get some sleep. Okay, we're gonna call it after... We're gonna call it when the morning happens. Monokuma appears! Good evening! It's time for Monokuma's cooking class! Today, we're gonna learn how to make taiyaki. The first thing you'll need is... A time machine! We will travel back in time to the Meiji period and meet a person named Seijiru Kanbei. He used to bake and sell turtle-shaped pastries, but unfortunately they never sold all that well. It's important that you gently cheer him up, because he's going to be disappointed in himself when you first meet him. From there, get serious and insist that he try making his pastries fish shape because they'll sell better. Once that happens, he'll happily bake his pastries in the shape of a fish! And as a final touch, name these pastries Taiyaki! Okay, with this, you've finished making Taiyaki! Brought to you by Monokuma! And this concludes Monokuma's cooking class! Wow, we're late. This is why we should have done Ahem. after. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone. Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. I'm worried about Mikan and the others. I should hurry over to the hospital. The moment I got out of bed, I immediately left my cottage and headed over to the hospital. Yo! Yo, you came early today. Oh, was it after? I thought they said it was before the announcement. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, okay. Never mind. 30 minutes after the morning and evening announcements. Okay, so so they did do what I was suggesting. You're the one who's early. Damn right. Well, I just got here. So what should we do? There's just a little time before we need to make contact. Want to go to Nagito's room and... Want to go to Nagito's room and check up on him? Yeah, I'm worried about how he's doing. Worry? Why do I have to worry about a guy like him? Still. All right, we're going to call it here today, and then we'll probably play tomorrow and uh, check on some sick people.